what story? Well, that's a good question because I just started recording. Our story today is called The Book of Mistakes. And it's by Karina Loikin. I think I skipped a couple pages. Here we go. It started with one mistake. Making the other eye even bigger was another mistake. Huh? Like I? No. Like in the book. But the glasses, they were a good idea. The elbow and the extra long neck, mm, mistakes. But the collar ruffled with patterns of lace and stripes, that was a good idea. And the elbow patches, they were a good idea too. See, they're in the picture. Mm -hmm. The bush was another good idea, dark and leafy so that you couldn't see through it. Or the frog, cat, cow thing, another mistake. The big space between the ground and the bottom of the girl's shoe was a little bit of a mistake too. But the roller skates, those were definitely not a mistake. The second frog, cat, cow thing made a very nice rock and the girl with the very long leg looks like she always meant to be climbing that tree. Even the ink smudges scattered across the sky look as if they could be leaves. Do you think those look like leaves? Mm -hmm. Like they'd always wanted to be lifted up and carried. Do you like to be lifted up and carried? Mm -hmm. And what about the girl? Do you see how with each mistake, she is becoming? Do you see now who she could be? Set your imagination free. And that is the end of our story. So I hope that you remember that your mistakes can always be transformed into something good. That's possible, isn't it? Even when we make mistakes, we can transform it into something pretty cool. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great week. We'll see you next time. Say bye. Bye.